So Rousey's is just continuing to show us really great things. All of the fruit models are finally completed and they look really good. So I want to talk about that. We got some story mode or Rousey storyline information. We got some new mounts, new fruits confirmed, and some new bosses to go over. But if you guys enjoy my content and enjoy me keeping you guys up on Rousey's, make sure to like and subscribe because that'd be helping the channel. I appreciate y'all. Let's get straight into it. I stream on Twitch daily. God did. So the first thing I want to go over is actually more important than you might think. The sneak right here is a mount, but it's also going to be a zone fruit in the future and if you couldn't tell it's going to be the mammoth fruit but the fruit won't be coming on release but it is confirmed to be coming in a future update and that's actually potentially really important because this definitely opens up the door to have a lot of potential zone mounts for example are we potentially also getting a dragon mount and if that was the case would it drop from the kaido boss or how are mounts obtainable in general is something we're gonna have to wait and find out now we also got one more mount and that's the wano deer mount which i'll show the comparison for in one piece and i want you guys to notice that there has been way more ground mounts than flying mounts so i assume the flying mounts are going to be like more rare since flying mounts are usually objectively better and i also want to mention that it's very likely we're going to be getting wano on release which is crazy we have a kaido model which i assume is for a kaido boss we have dragon and now we're getting a bunch of mounts which i would assume are obtainable by going to wano now if we do end up getting wano that's absolutely stupid because i don't think there's any game that has wano currently or at least any relevant game but now i want to look at all the fruit models since they were all completed and they were also all completed by one dev which is crazy my boy rel hawk he also does some of the zone models like the leopard model so it's crazy he did all of this now you guys might notice there's actually 32 fruits done compared to the 30 that were initially listed and one of those fruits is goro which they initially forgot about and the second one is yamato fox which is from wano if y'all don't know which is another wano fruit but when rail sees finally releases you're gonna need to know what fruit is what so i'm gonna tell y'all real quickly what fruit is what and then y'all could probably come back to this on release if y'all forget so i believe i'm correct with all of this but y'all could correct me if i'm wrong with any of this but here we got gura ice uh leopard love revive sand paw dark bison chop falcon bomb barrier gomu mochi uh what is this called buddha giraffe uh string wolf magma uh gravity uh tori soul uh yamato fox goro Opie, Allosaurus, Flame, uh, Venom, Smoke, Pika, and uh, Dragon. I'm also curious how good you guys think these models are. Me personally, I think they're my favorite because the GPO ones are too like flashy and neon, and the Block Shoots ones are obviously just blocks. So, you know, I think this is the best by far because it actually looks like One Piece. But now I want to look at something that's potentially very confusing, and that's the Rail Seas storyline. Railson did say the storyline for Rail Seas is going to be interesting to develop, which is kind of confusing. And the reason it's confusing is that it's been confirmed that the progression isn't going to be linear for Rail Seas. But if you have a storyline, there's a reason it says line because it's linear. It goes into order is essentially what that means. I know for their previous game, Shinobi Life 2, they had a close community game mode that was like story based. So maybe they're doing the same thing for Rail Seas or maybe there just actually is going to be a story mode in the actual game. If that is the case, maybe it's just not that big of a part of the progression or it's done in some sort of way where it could still not be linear. But even if it ends up being linear, I really don't think it's that big a deal at all. I think story progression is really good to be honest assuming it's actually done right and the story is good of course but now we got this tiger boss and this tiger boss is also from wano so we have a ton of stuff coming from wano so to be honest with all the stuff we're seeing from wano i'd be very surprised if it's not actually coming which is just crazy to think about which is why i was very hesitant to even say that and the fact that wano is confirmed with a million other islands that are practically confirmed or at least 90 percent confirmed i think we could say i'm wondering how they're gonna fit all of this into one c i'm pretty sure it's confirmed that there's only gonna be one c on release so i am wondering how they're gonna end up doing it considering the islands do seem relatively big but either way that's definitely a good problem to have so i'm not complaining at all but now we got what's most likely a ores boss which looks pretty good from what i can see i have said before and i'm gonna continue to say that i am a fan of like big style bosses because it makes the fights a lot more engaging when you have a group of people and for those of you that haven't noticed pretty much every boss they've shown us has either been like a giant or at least on the bigger side so that's good in my opinion here we have an impel down mob called blue 
gory and this is also really good to see because that most likely means we're getting impelled down and these mobs have a commander in one piece called Saldith. i'll put a picture of him on screen so potentially we might have a system like that where maybe he spawns them in and then you need to take out him in order to get rid of it and impel down but either way i know it's still an assumption but if we are getting impelled down gpo is getting impelled down next update so i'm wondering if we're gonna get rel seas first or next gpo update we'll see now i want to talk about a potential way to get a free fruit that rail sin said the first one he said is the last comment gets this fruit and it's the strength fruit he said this on his twitter and realistically he probably trolling he probably not giving away anything but regardless comment on that you feel because we love rail sin we want to support my boy and he made another one with venom saying the last like realistically like i said he probably trolling but there is a chance if y'all want to do it for fun but if y'all want to stay updated i'll keep y'all updated on rail c so make sure to like and subscribe so i stay in your algorithm you feel me and i stream on twitch every day and we talk Talk about Rail a lot if y'all want to pull up. But I mess with y'all. I'll see y'all later. Light. There's Roblox.